and only Optopotamus coming at you with another video review. And on today's episode, thanks to all of the absolutely amazing contributions from my Optopotamus Plus channel members, we're going to be taking a look at the new Masters of the Universe Origins Evil Master of Escape web store. Another one in this wave I was really looking forward to. This guy has just always been really super cool looking. For the package, much like all of them, you got that nice open blister, fully showcasing the figures, his accessories. Of course, you got the mini comic there. You have the card with the red rocks, blue sky, and you can make him climb up his line, much like the vintage one. They recreated that here with the little the zip tie thingy majigger. That's really fun. Now, you see the other figures that are available in this wave, including the Lords of Power Beastman, the Eternian Goddess, Stinkor, which we already took a look at, and then, of course, Web Store. He-Man and Skeletor are always going to be around. Those aren't going to go away. And, of course, you got that gorgeous art up here with Buzz Off, which I'm really looking forward to. That was revealed in terms of the actual figure, I believe, at PowerCon recently. And then, of course, yeah, you got the little action feature call-out right there. But uh, for the packaging on this guy, that's about I just... I don't know what it is. I, I mean, I love the colors on that guy and like little kind of spidery looking face. I mean, it's just a cool looking figure. But for the packaging on him, that's about it. So without further ado, let's get him out here and see how cool he actually is. And here we have the Blue Mini himself web store open up and out of its packaging. And I really like this guy. Again, um, I don't necessarily have any kind of connection to the uh, character exactly. I don't really know much about him. I just remember always seeing him as a vintage toy and loving the way that he looks. For his accessories, uh, he does come with his blaster. I want to say I've seen this before. Um, not entirely sure where I've seen it, but as you can see, it is a orange gun. Yay! Yay for guns! Uh, you can see that uh, you got one fisted hand here where you can hold it. it it's a little bit tricky to get it in there, and then you kind of have to rotate around. And then you got another open hand here. You can kind of get him holding it like that. Um, that works, I suppose. Go pew pew bang bang. You got you got that. So you have that. But the best part about this guy, obviously, you can see that you can have him the squat pose like this, and then you can extend the legs, making him a little bit taller. There we go. Uh, making him more modern action figure size i suppose but still looking like that masters of the universe look that uh you have come to know and love uh from watching my videos on this subject uh, but this guy is a really cool looking figure one thing about him though is that he does have this big giant backpack it doesn't really yeah i mean there is a bit of a weight balance here but you really can kind of mitigate it by uh kind of shifting the legs a little bit forward and get him oh you can see see you got to get that falling back there this knee's a little bit loose and that kind of causes some issues but you can see you can get him to stand even though he does kind of look like he's leaning back so there we go um so just kind of mitigate it a little bit uh by kind of adjusting things getting him looking pretty good detail wise he's phenomenal obviously he's using uh basically what looks like skeletor's body uh, with the legs and the arms and things of that nature but the color on him is gorgeous i absolutely love this tone of blue you can see he's got this nice purple harness obviously you got the uh, the little backpack thing here which i'll touch on here in a bit it does get a little bit tricky to kind of hide all that stuff but you do have a gorgeous head sculpt on here as well coming in you can kind of see oh let me actually zoom here where the light's gonna be able to show that that's a great head sculpt. I think that is really very nice. Obviously, very spiderish. Got extra eyes all, all the way around there with the fangs and everything. Really super, super cool. Love that. I mean, like I said, uh, just something about this character just looks wicked, wicked cool. Uh, articulation is all the exact same. The ball joints, everything like that. The best part about this, and it, it, I, I, I wasted enough time, is he does have this little grapple thing. So. Uh, you can kind of wind it around here, kind of getting all the string looped around. It, it does get a little bit tricky to kind of mitigate it, but here, this is basically what you have. So you have this little section here, which it goes through, as you can see. Um, I don't know how well I'm going to be able to show this here. Um, and, oh, let me see. All right. Put it on there. All right. So you have them 
hang in there. Let's uh, zoom up here so we can kind of see what's happening. Let's see if I can actually do this pretty decently. Now, you're going to just take this and you literally just pull. Oh, well, let me hold on to that. You pull this back and you see that there's a little winch thing inside there that makes him climb. I mean, that is super fun. Uh, it does get a little bit tricky when you're getting all the way up there. It doesn't like going all the way to the top, but that's perfectly fine. But you can hang them down there and then look, look, do, 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 just like, oh, well, that kind of got all the way up there. So that's the best part. So again, I'm going to hold on to this here and I'm just going to go, whoop, he's gone. And now, whoop, there he is. Whoop, and it's literally me just pulling this. You can, you can kind of see like putting it there and then pulling it. It makes him go forward. So again, I'm not moving this. Love that. Absolutely love it. Now, I have seen some people that uh, have had mechanical issues with this where it's not working all that well. That's really unfortunate. Um, hopefully, it's not a widespread problem, but it is something to be aware of. And then, like you could see before, you can take this and you got all the... Well, hold on. You got this little section here. You got these little clips here that you can kind of just loop all this stuff around. Um in a way to kind of mitigate the, the string being all the way up there. So something like that, I guess. And then that's going to dangle down a little bit like so. Uh, so it, it, it does kind of, you know, just sit there. You know, I'm just going to kind of wrap that around there to try to mitigate that thing flopping all over the place. But such a simple design, such a fun toy to play with. Uh, I, I just always thought that he was really super cool and uh, just dynamic looking. A fun figure. Do kind of wish, like I said, that that was a little bit tighter. That does kind of make things a little bit uh, problematic uh, for standing purposes. But you can still get him to stand perfectly fine. Uh, if you're a Masters of the Universe fan, this is definitely one I would pick up. Uh, in this wave, I'm not overly impressed with some of the other ones. Uh, like the, the Goddess figure and the... Uh, Lords of Power uh, Beast Man. I know a lot of collectors are going to be into those. Me personally, I'm not really into them. The next wave that's coming out, I believe it's got like the mini comic version of Stratos. Um, that one I'm not all that interested in because I never really paid much attention to the mini comics. We're going to have Buzz Off in that one. I think there's like two in that wave that I'm interested in getting as well. And then there's two that I'm not really interested in. This though... I absolutely, I mean, yeah, see, that, that does get a little annoying that you have to kind of fiddle with that. Um, um, him and, of course, oh, God, I, I, I can't even remember who it was now. Oh, Stinkor, that's right. Uh, I mean, even though that Stinkor didn't have the stink that I was hoping for, still was a fun figure. Web Store here is a fun figure. Uh, hopefully, as I talked about, that mechanic issue isn't widespread. I have seen other people talk about it. As you can see, mine doesn't really have it. So hopefully, like I said, it's not a widespread problem. But if you are collecting these figures, this is absolutely one that I would recommend adding to your collection. He looks cool. The gimmick is fun. And he's just a fun figure. I, I mean, that's really all it is. You know, toys should be fun, right? And this guy definitely is. So there you go, guys. There's my look at the new Masters of the Universe Origins web store. If you'd like to pick this guy up or any other Masters of the Universe origin figures, the easiest way to do it is by going through places like Big Bad Toy Store. Yes, sometimes it takes a little bit longer, but you are guaranteed to get it and you don't have to go hunting. To this day, I rarely see anything beyond He-Man and Skeletor in my stores. And that's really very, very unfortunate. But because of the uh, ability of Big Bad Toy Store to get these and carry them, I never worry about not getting the figures eventually. And that's saying a lot for someone like me who's typically very impatient when it comes to getting my toys. It's just the headache of trying to find these at brick and mortar retail stores is something that I I need to I need to avoid it. It's just it's not good for your health. So all of that being said, if this is a figure that you would like to answer your collection, he's available right now at places online like Big Bad Toy Store and Amazon. So for that, I'll put a link right down there in the video description where you can check this guy out and check out any other figures that you might like to add to your collection. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. 
I want you to do one very important thing for me, and that's to remember that the real trouble with the world is that too many people grow up. Thank you all for watching and taking the time to be a kid.